Hello, let's set up together our Apple Silicon workstation with uh, Vagrant for virtual machine management in macOS. So first of all, let's verify that Rosetta, the translation layer between uh, the Apple Silicon, no, between uh, the Intel binary and uh, Apple Silicon is successfully installed. For doing this, we open a terminal and run USR has been software update dash dash rosetta dash install dash rosetta and let's do also dash dash agree dash to license to accept the license. In this case, this is what you are expecting on screen. As you can see, uh, rosetta version 2.0 is finished successfully. So rosetta is actually running. Uh, I'm using Homebrew, that is a very popular package manager to install any other software on my Mac. So it's already set up. If you don't know, go to brew.sh and it's super easy to install and it allows to do things like this. So brew install Vagrant. Vagrant is a wonderful mm, tool for setting up your private laboratory. And as you can see, it relies on a huge archive of software and it maintains also up to date uh, our workstation. In this case, I already downloaded the latest version of Vagrant on my system. So, running the command Vagrant V return uh, the current version running, in my case, 2.3.3. Uh, maybe some newest version was released after this video. Okay, second step is actually to install the VMware Fusion. This will be like uh, the hypervisor that run all our code, so it's the layer that uh, actually virtualize everything. I'm using the VMware Fusion public patch preview 22H2 that uh, was released uh, in September 2022. Here we are. So as you can see, we just need to search for this tool and hit the download button. That is under a not paywall, this is a simple registration page. So if you don't have any VMware customer connect uh, login, you need to sign up as I did. So there is a, this lovely form that uh, requests the user stuff like email, password and also your personal details. So I'm going to fill all this form with also my address, email, mm, phone number and the usual capture and the agreement for uh, term of service and send us marketing communication. Okay, so I'm going to take a, some moment, fill out this form with all this information and second step is to verify my email. In this case, uh, a code was sent to my email mailbox. So let me uh, read it through my mobile and uh, insert on screen. This code obviously change uh, all the time and will be for sure different from your use case and after verify this code we can finally download our software so let's click uh, to continue to vmware customer connect and we are going to be redirected to the login page so let me enter my detail in my case my email and the password that i used no i don't want to save a password okay cool now we are back to the VMware Fusion download page. Let's accept the license uh, before we need to take a read about the end user agreement. And when we accept, uh, actually the download uh, will start when we hit the download now button. So let me allow the downloading from uh, VMware website. Did I hit uh, the right button? Oh, I might have hit uh, twice, so let me take a look on the status bar and yes, I did twice. So let me cancel the one with the second one and let me wait to, for the downloading of this 700 megabyte. 
The time might vary depends by the speed of your network connection. In my case it took a while so I was speeding up a little bit the video because nobody likes waiting um, for a progress bar to advance. Ok, so finally the file was downloaded. Oh, I have a chaos in my download directory. Uh, let me execute this DMG image. Cool, so double click uh, will open a window like this uh, and the VMware Fusion Tech Preview setup is going to start. Let me authorize as a secure content from uh, the VMware website. Let me enter my password. Security first, thanks Mac. Ok, and uh, finally the install process will begin. So this is VMware Fusion 12 that is going to be installed on my system. Oh, it's not working, this agree button. Uh, maybe it's because for this lovely notification. Mm, let me take a look on this setup and yes, that's it. Cool, let, let me move forward. Uh, the license field was already populated and Fusion 12 is installed. Cool. Okay, so now we are ready for the next step. Okay, and let me also configure the, this little setting about the accessibility. So uh, let me take a look more closer. Uh, what I need to do, ok, going in the system preferences uh, so then uh, security and privacy, cool and under accessibility I need to authorize the VMware so let me unlock the system preferences using my fingerprint and let me enable the VMware Fusion Tech Preview Cool. Everything set up, so let me authorize and this is the main window of VMware Fusion. So everything is ready to be executed and we can drop ISO image here or uh, like a disk or image for creating a virtual machine or other setup. Under the about session there is a confirmation that VMware Fusion is currently installed on my system. Cool, now we are ready for the next step. Back on my terminal, so I was checking that Vagrant Global Status uh, didn't report any virtual machine and now it's time to connect uh, Vagrant with uh, VMware. So let me install Vagrant-VMware Utility and like usual I'm using Brew for this task, so Brew install Vagrant-VMware-Utility and in the blink of an eye the binary is downloaded from the official uh, Homebrew website. No, this is HashiCorp? Cool. <laughs> I was wrong. The re recipe was downloaded by Homebrew and the file actually was co downloaded by HashiCorp. Anyway, he's asking for our password to confirm the installation of this uh, utility that connect uh, Vagrant with uh, VMware and here we are successfully installed this is another service that uh, run underneath your Mac and allow the communication between these two pieces of software ok so mm, look like everything is configured well not really uh, you need to enable a plugin in a Vagrant that allow the communication between uh, the CLI and this uh, VMware utility. So, ok, mm. no I was wrong, it's not this command, it's Vagrant plugin install and the plugin is called Vagrant-VMware dash desktop cool ok uh, now Vagrant is downloading the necessary plugin and might take a few minutes it depends by the performance of your machine but it doesn't talk, take longer this is actually the real timing of my MacBook Pro that is using M1 Pro processor and I'm quite satisfied by this system 
And great! Vagrant VMware Desktop Plugin is successfully installed version 3.0.1. Cool! Seems everything is sorted out. Well, not quite really. Now a fun part began. So, for example, I would like to spin up an image that I was creating and I hit this error. And Doing some little bit of troubleshooting, I discovered that the plugin was trying to use uh, VMware Fusion.app and we are not using VMware Fusion, we are using the tech preview. So we need to create a symbolic link to the VMware Fusion app that link to the Fusion tech preview. Cool. After creating the Symbolic link, uh, we can use this utility to double check that everything, the communication went smooth. Okay, so finally we could go to Vagrant Cloud, let's select the VMware hypervisor and we can take a look on the recently published image or a specific system operator. In my case, for example, I would like Ubuntu 22.10 and uh, so let me copy and paste uh, this image. Uh, this is only an example of an image. I'm, I don't know this author, I don't guarantee for the quality. So for example, I was able to uh, create a Vagrant file that fits my need. Just uh, a simple box with one virtual CPU, one gigabyte of RAM and I was able to spin up using Vagrant app and underneath uh, Vagrant is taking care of downloading this file and it performance de may vary, depends by when your network connection but the file was downloaded from the official Vagrant Cloud repository. This file was quite big, like one gigabyte and after the download process Vagrant was spinning up the virtual machine using VMware. So Underneath it uses uh, all this plugin that we installed together and to communicate between uh, the virtual machine and Vagrant. I found very useful the usage of Vagrant for my virtual laboratory because I can spin up virtual machine uh, in a blink of an eye only typing one command. Cool, as you can see now the virtual machine is cloned and configured for network devices and whatever. So like usual. Cool, we did. We set up Vagrant for virtual machine management in Mac using VMware Fusion. Yay! Good result.